Hey everyone, we are back with what's sold on our online business. This is my beautiful wife, Linda. I'm Cameron, we're Flashback Finds. We're gonna go over what's sold today on a Monday uh, in our eBay Mercari Poshmark business here. Quite a and few- Facebook Marketplace. And Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to remember them all now. A lot of different things. This is a weird day where it's one thing that's cool about reselling. It started off really slow. That part's not cool, only a couple sales. Then all of a sudden, sales happen all the latter part of the day and it got us to where we want to be. One big one that's really cool. So that's the cool thing about reselling, like I said, is you could have a slow day, all of a sudden it could turn around a second and offers come through like crazy. So we're going to go over what sold. So how did we do today? So today we had nine sales in total across two platforms um, for just under $5.90. So pretty good. We'll start with the first one, which is a Mercari sale. Got an offer this morning. This is a Hot Wheels Supervan um, Red line. from Redline from 1974, and it sold for $22 shipped. So, no, 22 plus shipping. Plus shipping. Yes, so they paid the first class shipping on that one. It was listed at 29 and we took the best offer of 22 Happy to see it go. And our eBay items. First off, we got the Legend of Zelda Maj Majora. Majora's Mask, yeah, I think Ma so. Is it Majora? Think Majora's Majora. Mask. Um, this is for Nintendo 3DS. Just it is the case. the case and the manual only. So, no game. And it sold for 13 and a half shipped. Not a whole lot, but we've been selling a lot of empty cases, guys. If you have a good game, people yeah. will buy them. They want to finish their complete theirs or whatever. So next and up we, we have this, this cool guy. guy. This is Weightlift and Rocky Gibraltar. He is a action figure from Disney's Toy Story. Yep. He is considered rare. I there was only one list that was brand new, I think. We have the used one, obviously. This one used went for forty dollars shit. Forty bucks for that guy. Listed at eighty bucks, but he's been up for a while. Took the best off for a forty. Happy to see him go. Next up we got a pair of vintage taco jeans. They're 2829. They're very baggy skater 90s hip hop style. And they sold for $55 shipped. Those were five bucks. Five bucks sold full price, 55. They were listed on Posh and Mercari and Facebook Marketplace as well, but they went out on eBay. So pretty good. Now we're about halfway through, so we'll tell you the big one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's put on the screen when you see in a second. But yeah, we, there's a lot of it, we so. bought a bunch of health and beauty. Dead stock stuff. It's all vintage 80s. We sold um, shaving cream. We've sold soap and dishwasher detergent, all brand new stuff or stuff that's old and vintage. We also had toilet paper. This is the old Charmin kind, uh, the colored one. I think they don't even allow you to sell on those kind anymore. Linda, had, we have one roll that opened up here, so that's what it kind of looks like. We sold it as a prop, not for use. It's for a prop, yeah, I wouldn't use and that's exactly <laughs> how it sold. Someone messaged me and said they have a movie that's filming pretty soon. And they made an offer on four of our Charmins that we had listed. I said, hey, I have four more as well that aren't listed, that are just, you know, duplicates of the ones already listed. What do you want to do? I said, I'll do 200 for them, but you pay the shipping. If you want to pay higher shipping or whatever, you pay. Because they wanted them fast. They wanted them fast. Well, I put the, put the weight, I put them in a box so they, I would see what they would, you know, cost to ship them. They ended up choosing to pay for the FedEx home delivery, which is not the two-day shipping. They paid like 60 bucks for that, plus the tax. It ended up being $300 yeah. for the whole order. So eight Charmin's out for 300. It's gonna cost us, you know, we're making 200 less the fees, so. Yeah. Pretty good though. Pretty awesome. And I'm happy because we sold them all at one time, guys. And also, who would have ever thought you'd be selling old toilet paper? I mean, during yeah. the COVID, toilet paper was super valuable, but. And that's just a Charmin. We do have a couple. We have like a Northern brand. Of like the other brands, yeah. but. They bought all of our Still Charmin, cool. so we're happy to see them go. Clears up a big space down there, yeah. and I'm probably in these for a dollar a piece, maybe something like that. I bought a whole bunch of stuff in bulk. It was a great deal. We sold through most of it. Then we got a pair of Hoka ones. These are I think it's One Ones. Hoka One Ones. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce Hoka it. Hoka One Ones. One One. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they oh. are a women's shoe, and they're size eight and a half B. They have some stains on I the toe box. This. Um, and the size, but the soles are good enough for you to use. I've seen people sell far worse condition than this. People that like Hoka's love them, and these sold for $55 shipped. They were five bucks, so Ooh, got them washed up and clean. Um, yeah, happy to see them go. 55 bucks. That was an offer to watchers. Things were kind of slower, so I sent it out right before the Charmin stuff sold. And then someone bought the Charmin, and they bought this. And the Paco Dunes were right before that. And then this sold while we were at dinner. We got a Foot Joy Men's XXL Polo. It is all white and it's got like this baby blue FJ FJ pattern on it. They're li literally teeny tiny FJs. You can barely see them on there. But... Um, this is actually so white. I couldn't find many stains on this thing. There was one you found, I know for Just sure. Just one. But other than that, this thing is white guys like i don't, and I don't usually pick up white stuff like this because it always has a stain but yeah it was 50 it cents good. so that's why i grabbed it 
Um, and it sold for $25 shipped. A little, what is that called? A little thing. Foxtail. Foxtail. Okay, $25 shipped. That was a dollar, I think. And then we sold some more of this stuff. These are the flame resistant shirts. These are, it's a two pack of 2XLs. Uh, 2XL long, long, yeah. long sleeves. Got them for two bucks each. And this pack of two sold for 43 and some change. 43 bucks. So we're four bucks in a 43. We sold a bunch of this. The FR stuff, uh, it usually holds its value pretty well. Some brands better than others. This one has some embroidery on it, so it makes it a little less desirable, but people oh, will no. buy it. Oh, just the, the yeah. cock thing. Yeah, oh. exactly. So. And then our last sale of the evening. We still have an hour and a half, so we'll see what happens. But this is a pack of vintage Barney puzzles. Three of them are car are wood, and one of them is cardboard. Yeah. But they have all the pieces. They just have some damage from, like, you know, kids playing with them, obviously. But um, the four packs sold for $28 shipped. These were from the Death Pile a while back, and I had them listed for, like, 40 bucks. Haven't gotten any offers. On. I've gotten a couple offers for, like, 20 or 15 bucks, But took the best offer of 28 They probably will ship out in, like, a regional A or something. Happy to see him go. I probably in them for about a buck a piece, so four bucks into twenty eight. Pretty probably cool. Ten or twelve to ship them. We'll make a little bit, but just happy to see him get out of here, make some money, and move on. We have a little bit of time left, so Linda might be back if something else sells. If not, in the next clip, you're going to see what sells for sure on Tuesday. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Hey everyone, we are back with Tuesday sales. Continuing the video here. Nothing else happened last night. This is my beautiful wife, Linda. She's excited to be here. She loves it. I have to force her. Anyways. Um, just so we can look like the happy reselling couple. So, like everybody else online. Um, <laughs> no, no shots taken. Anyways, uh, how did we do today, babe, with sales? Not a whole lot. I'm looking at the quantity here, but the dollar amount is pretty good. Remember what it is? Yeah, so we had nine sales on one platform today um, for a total of just under 560 Yeah, and two of those items really make up the bulk of everything yeah, else. Is, exactly. right, there's three. Actually, if you do three of them... That's like 75% of all the total. So pretty cool. Then we sold some kind of bread and butter stuff. Let's get into it though. First item this morning, an early sale. Just listed this about a week and a half ago. This is a Logitech cordless optical track man. It's the one with the big red ball. And Cameron's actually sold the big red ball by yeah. itself before. I bought some of these, the wireless ones, and they didn't work. But I sold the replacement ball by itself for like 12 bucks. Yeah. Which, if you're getting it for a buck or two, at least you can save salvage some money out of it. But this one was 15 bucks in the box. It's not brand new. It looks like it's like new. And it sold for $200 shipped, and it is going global shipping program. 200 bucks. That's a pretty cool one. Brand new of this, I think it's 300 bucks, 400 bucks for a brand new one sealed. That was a good one. And that one's been left here a while. It was sitting on the shelf. I had to test it. So finally got to test it, and then it worked. Next item. Next item, a $700 manual buy. We have an 01 Honda Civic GX service supplement. These are almost worse than ETM manuals because yeah. they're just there's not much in them. So someone has to have a Civic, you know, 2001 Civic GX manual. Man, they, and they want the supplement to their manuals. So these are less likely to sell, but this sold for? This sold for $20. We'll take it though. That's easy for us. We're already weighing the profits with the manuals, guys. So any money is good now at this point. Next up, we have a Canon Our Canonet G3 QL17 rangefinder camera. Yep. It's broken, so um, we listed it for parts. Yeah, in the it has some issues. So um, these cameras are available. If they work, they go for like 120 150 Took a best offer of? $75. So we'll wipe it down, send it out. The guy knows it's broken. He said, this is the best I'll pay if it's broken because I'm going to have to fix it and took it. But these old... Here's the Canon, the Canon AE1. This is the Canon QL17 G3, whatever. Look out for these guys. They will sell. Other brands sell too, but those Canon ones do very well. Next up, we got the best damn pole instruction book ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Period. And it sold for nine. Man, and the and cover half looks so bad. Like they printed this. I mean, look at it. Just looks like you can. Almost the look picture is like so did it themselves. Yeah, <laughs> someone like scanned an image and distorted it by you know, making the size or whatever. It just does not look right. But somebody wanted it. But it sold. This came out of 350 book buy, so not a whole lot. This is one of those easy ones that went a bubble mailer. Next up, we got a Lutron Lumia uh, light dinner. Dimmer, yeah. yeah, dimmer. And it sold for 12 and a half shipped, and it, we got it at our Savers. Uh, it was... I don't know if this was in a, bo a bag of stuff, I think. Uh, I, forgot what, I forgot what was in the bag. There was other stuff in there, and I got this. So probably two or three bucks in. It's sold. We just have an offer on something that we probably will take, but we'll check that afterwards. Next up, one of Cameron's nights where he went shopping by himself. He went to our local oh. Angel View, 
and he got a bunch of sealed dividends. I did, got a bunch. They had a, it was awesome. They had all the kinds that I'm looking for. I've told you guys these before. The MGM ones, a lot of these ones have some value. This is Mulholland Falls, and Seal. it sold for $30 ship. Originally it was $4.99. $30 for that. I paid $2.49 for it. They sell their DVDs for $2.49 or $2.99, depending. Look out for movies you've never heard of. Um, look out for MGM or like ones that are Fox War classics, things that are like old movies they've kind of reprinted. Some of them have value. That's an awesome deal for a DVD. Love media. Then out of this manual buy from way back when, we've got a 94 Mazda 929 body ETM and it sold for $12 ship. This one is not good. No. It's not going to make a lot of money. This one, the old manual buy, there's not much left from there and what is left is mostly trash. By trash, I just mean lower. Yeah, it's not really trash. Next up, we got a jersey. This is a Burry Ram. Burry Ram? Thailand. Thai it's a Thailand Thai League football jersey. It's an extra large. It's orange and white. It is from a Bestie Buy, and it sold for $25. It was two bucks. 25 bucks on a best offer, so pretty good. And then the second best sale of the day. This is from uh, Angel View as well. I think a different day than that one. But this, I've never seen this. And I told you guys in the last one, look out for DVDs or TV series you have not heard of. This is most of you Chan. Most of you have not heard of this. I saw this from the on the DVD shop, looked around like, I don't recognize that. I'm like, oh, it's like a cart, weird looking cartoon. There was two of them. Um, looked them up. They were listed for three. These were $3.99 because they're a TV series. And I saw the comps were great. A lot of them were selling used for 40 or 50 bucks. And then I found this one, which is the complete season two, and it, we sold it for. $175. Hundred, there were none listed. The last one sold for, I think, one sold for 150 and one sold for 180 or one whatever. I had mine listed at 200 There were no other ones out there. I sent an offer to Watchers earlier today before all the sales started coming in at 175 and someone finally jumped on it. So Literally right now. Yeah, just before we did <laughs> yeah. the video. And I'm like, cool, because I'm only in this for four bucks. <laughs> awesome. so, and I have another one. Uh, it's season three, part one. It should probably go for less, but still, look out for weird DVDs, guys. Burn that in your brain, Shin Chan, if you find it. And a sealed one, crazy money. That's all we got, guys, right now. Um, great day. A lot of big ticket ones really helped our numbers. Uh, one of our recent videos, probably in the past month you've seen, I said diversity really helps our business. This is why. It's not just having a bunch of different categories you sell in, it's also having a bunch of different price points. So if you're having a slow day, but all of a sudden you get a couple couple hundred dollar sales in, boom, you're having a great day. In the same light, none of your big stuff selling, but you're selling a bunch of media for 10, 20 bucks. Before you know it, you got a couple hundred bucks in sales off smaller items, and that's okay. It doesn't matter how you get there, but if you get to your goal, that's what matters. So love diversifying, you guys should too. Anything you wanna say? No. Just here to look beautiful. Anyways. <laughs> Let's go ahead, guys. Thank you so much. Then we'll be back when anything else sells. And we'll both see you in the next video with what sells on Wednesday. So take care. Bye-bye.